Hi everybody, this is CBGS. I'm the captain here and I got Ram. Hey hey. And I have JJ over here. Hello. And JJ's here because today we are actually doing the Troll Deck 5 for the Shell Paladin Troll Deck uh, Ren, uh, Suzuka Mori Ren deck. So that's not much to, to go with that. So since uh, JJ is our resident Shadow Paladin player, so he's here to pilot the deck. And he's up against Ram's uh, Dimension Police deck straight out from the, the extra booster too, am I correct? Yes. So he's playing as a champion of the Asia Circuit that we see here. So we have a champion versus a trial deck. So make your own jokes over okay. here. So, uh, but uh, yes, uh, we'll be going through this fight right now. Uh, there's not much deck profile, so we'll, I'll pass it to Ram to explain his deck profile. But for for JJ, his is straight out of the box. This is the trial deck for the Shah Fardin, as I mentioned. And because it's a trial deck, so he gets to start off with the three cards with the trial deck rules. So he starts with the uh, Blaster Javelin, Blaster Dark, and the Dark Dictator in his hand. So he start there with three, draw two, and uh, Mulligan calling. So uh, Ram, what's in your your uh, Dimension Police deck? Uh, my deck build mainly revolves around Dayusha with the Vanguards mainly doing all they can to power up the Vanguards so that they can hit for that Trans Dimension skill. Yes! As you would know it as Trans Dimension, as I know it, it's uh, I'm the only guy that played Dayusha in a sea full of Night Kaisers. What the hell? Superior Cross Rhino! <laughs> <laughs> all the history I have that card. But right now, let's make history with this fight by getting it down in the books right now. So, uh, you want to see the deck profiles for Rams? Uh, uh, Dimension Police there, you can head to the links below to uh, blogcosmicos.com where you can see the depth of files for that. Uh, then now we proceed to the shuffle, Rams already drawn his first 5, uh, JJ can proceed to draw his 2 and then you can proceed with the mulligans as we go along. Yeah, long time since our last year. Yes, it has been. Yes, uh, we're recording with... What better time to come back than for Ram Sama? <laughs> Ram vs Ram Sama. Wow. Ram vs Ram. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Ram vs Ram, no, here we go. <laughs> okay. Alright, so since we're still, who goes first? Dan, oh, I guess I'm going first. Okay. Alrighty, so as per usual, check in the center, make sure you flip the referee at the end of the turn. Are you both ready? Ready. Yeah. Stand so, up, my vanguard! Yeah. My turn. I draw. Alright, command number one. And yeah. my stuff is skill. And I roll it upon, draw one card. And I'll pass it to Nanda. Okay, so it's my turn. Draw. 6k base. Woohoo! Okay, hold this. Case, I will ride into this monster. Uh, Paran Orb. Uh, never mind, forget that. Anyway, um, so, full of skill, then win it over. I'll draw one card. Hey, it's okay, buddy. Okay, uh, <laughs> with that, I will attack the Vanguard. No guard. Try check this. Get trigger, trigger. Ten case, and one crit. Why? Why? Because. That damage check. First check, must put this grand there. Second check, die Marina. Okay, and with that, I will end my turn. Not bad for a return match. <laughs> Stand and draw. <laughs> right, right, and I shall attack the bank. No guard. Drive check, die Marina. Okay, damage check. Whatever the dog is. Okay, and my turn. Okay, stand on the roll. I think the name is Fall Bow. Fall Bow, okay. Fall okay, so uh, right face. Then let's see, Wagner brings him. Lido, last for that. So, since you have no real guard, I have no need to activate this uh, on right skill, which is to counter blast one, and my opponent chooses one real guard to be higher. So, I will then move into. Hmm. I think I'll call this. Okay. Yeah. Then I'll activate uh, Blaster Dark's uh, second skill. Once per turn, if my opponent has no rear guards, by paying the cost, which is discard one card from my hand, this card gets an uh, additional one drive. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, are you ready? No. I'll take the Vanguard. No guard. First check. Draw trigger. That's 10k to my Emma. Emma. Draw one card. Second check. Oh. Oh, um, trigger, uh, triggers. Trigger, trigger. Trigger, please. Uh, damage check. First check, die dragon. Second check. Oh, oh. heal trigger. Uh, plus 10k to my vanguard. And I do heal. Uh, die dragon goes to the top. Okay, that's not too bad, I guess. Uh, but the damage Emma is Emma with uh, 30k. I got with a critical trigger. Okay, 
And I will end my turn. Stand and draw. Why? <laughs> because. Alright. Rita. And I get my horse marker to my vanguard. And I call Die Dragon. And I call Die Marina. And I call. I'm gonna die Yusha. <laughs> So I'll activate die dragon skill with soul plus one. My vanguard gets plus five. Too. So with that said, I'll activate uh, die Yusha skill by resting one of my vanguards. Die Marina. My vanguard gets plus ten. Too. So fifteen k. So this will be coming in your back. Oh, one more thing. For my Vanguard's first skill, if my Vanguard is at 35k or higher, plus 1 critical. So power check, this one's at 23, 38, yeah, sorry, let's check. So I'll attack a Vanguard, 38k, 38k with double critical. No doubt. Twin drive! Confidently. First check, draw trigger. Power to this guy, And I draw one. Second check, critical trigger. Critical Ooh. to my Vanguard. Power to Okay. Damage check. First check. No trigger. Second check. Draw trigger. So I'll give 10 G to my Vanguard. And I'll draw one. This is so intense. One more damage. Oh yeah. Two right. damage. Okay. So I have to explain die dragon skill first of all. For second skill, if it's if my vanguard is at 35 k or higher, this unit gets plus one. Kill. So before I forget, so 20 k will attack your vanguard die dragon. Okay, I will know that. Check, get heal trigger. Get heal. I can heal. Um, I will plus 10 k to my vanguard. So Dayusha will attack your Vanguard, this is 33k. 33k, I'm at 20k, so... Uh, 15k to guard. Badly. Okay, so these dices will go out. And I'll pass my turn. Alright. Stand and draw. Tables have turned, it's now 4 to 3. Wow. Yes. Criticals. And I intend to change yes. that. So, I will write. Manager again, four. Okay. This is this is Jesus versus Manager Force to hold it up. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So you add it to the side, right? I'll add it to the regards over here. Right. And I will first and foremost I'll activate Dark Detector skill to counter blast one. Superior call one of one uh, grade two or lower rear guard in my hand. And my opponent will use one rear guard in the tire. Okay, when he secures this unit, that unit gets 5k. Ah, yes. Yeah. Ah, yes. yes. So yes. then, with that in the way, then Emma's skill will be able to kick him, which is she gets 5k for every other uh, Rhaegar that's called during the turn. Yes. Dark Dictator gets 2k for every Rhaegar. Mm -hmm. It's continuous uh, skill. That's yep. a total of 4k. Unless you want to call more. Well, what do you think? That, that hand size, though. Hmm. <laughs> I think I will. Call. Draw a trigger. And I will call. Blast Javelin. So Blast Javelin skill will activate. When this card is in the Rhaegar Circle, if I have one or more uh, Great One below Rhaegar, I may pay the cost, which is to counter Blast. If I do, I will draw one. And this card gets 3k at the end of turn. Mm -hmm. Then uh, Dark Dictator skill will activate passively. So. Plus another, plus another four. Key. So, so it's a five and a three over there. Don't forget the two Emmas. They so get... this M. Oh, this is only one button. Oh, so Emmas only one have... Oh, okay, okay. So only this uh, right rear guard will activate skill. So that that right Emma gets another five k. Yes. The yeah. right Emma. <laughs> okay. So uh, with that, I will move into my attack step. A bottle. So I will attack your die dragon. So how much is this? this? One? So this is 10, 15, 15, 18, 18 plus 8, 26 to your rear guard. 26 to my rear guard. 
No, I, I need to keep it alive. I, I'm guarding with the certificate guard. Okay. Ooh. I need it alive. Yeah, I'm sure you do. With this, Dark Dictator will attack the Vanguard at 21k. No god, come! Swing drive. First check, Dark Dictator. Second check, that's Pete. No. My clear. My clear. So, yeah. damage check. No trigger. So, I'll plus 10k to. Hmm, plus 10k to Dark Dragon. Alright. It's very important, and I'll draw one. Mm -hmm. And okay. go ahead. I will still attack Dark Dragon. So, this is. This is 20, 20, 30, 30, 35. 35, I meant. 20, so it's you still need 20k, 20K yeah. to clear. Because you have 40. God, God. Okay. Okay, it's out that, of the way. I will end my turn. Okay. Stand and draw. Why? <laughs> because. Okay. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna call Die Lander and Die Marina. Die Marina is skill when it's placed, so I'll soul blast one and I'll give Vanguard the skill. If you when guarding you have to call two or more cards from the hand. Okay. So now I give them the hand. So with that said I'll activate Dayusha's second skill, so I rest two Vanguard and Dayusha gets plus 20. And the beach. Then I'll activate Dive Dragon Skill, which is so one. And give my Vanguard Mana. So this is 40k to your 48k to your Vanguard, double critical. And the critical dice. Oh, yeah. Okay, in this case, I will copy that. Copy one. And I'm putting another unit in the rear that's circle, am I correct? Yes. You have to put one more because of the uh, diamond arena skill, otherwise the attack will go through. Mm. Yes. Doesn't have to, doesn't have to be from the hand, right? It has to be from the hand. Yeah. Intercepts don't count. Okay. Swing drive. First step, draw a trigger. Power to a dive dragon. Draw one. Second check. Oh dear. Okay. <laughs> Let's go! Trans Dimension! Skill! From my head, I count the boss one. And I call out. Chicken, chicken, no, no, wait to die, you shot! You I mean, totally uh, fumbled that skill, so. <laughs> I heard chicken. Chicken? <laughs> I can't jump in well, but I, I will remove this dice away so that I can calculate the power now. So if I ride this way, my Vanguard gets plus one, okay? Then the first skill, when placed on the Vanguard Circle, my front row units get plus 10 kick each. And, and, and lastly, imaginary gift, four. Right to my back. Oh yeah, one more thing, Die Marina skill already went off. So this doesn't, you, you can guard now. So my Vanguard will attack. This will be the tree 53 to your Vanguard. Okay. It all comes down to my drive checks. Screen drive. Let's check. Die Dragon. Second check. Critical trigger. All the effects to Die Dragon. And the critical check as well. So Die Dragon skill, uh, 30, my, since my Vanguard is 35 here or higher, it gets more than game off. So Die Dragon. Will attack you for 50k, two criticals. 50k, two criticals. And then you're done. Can you do it? Can you take that? Can you take that? So this 30, 30, 43, you take that. Okay. Got it. That is how I will attack you. No luck. JJ survives one more turn! Wow! Oh my. Survive the onslaught. With that, I'll end my turn. Alright. Then it's my turn. Stand and draw. Hmm. Can you do it? Right. Okay. 
Man, trying to get? Oh. Skill. Counter blast. Fighting. Choose one of your regards to retire it. I'll move this up. Continuous skill activate. Plus 2k for active regards. So that's for 6k. Brings it up to 19. So. I'll take the Vanguard. Can't get that. Dropping Die Dragon. Okay. Swing Drive. First check, lock the buff. Second check, nothing. Alright. Okay, in that case, I will attack Die Dragon. Mm. God. Alright. One more time, attacking Die Dragon. Yeah. 20, 25. What's wrong with Die Dragon? You tell me! Can't take that this. <laughs> it's his unit, he can't tell you! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so. Turn it. Okay, stand and draw. I'm declaring it final turn! Oh! Mm. Okay. So I'm gonna call this dying Dragon down here. So my Vanguard will attack you uh, for. 41. So, one thing I forgot about Dylander skill is that if my Vanguard is at the K or higher, you can't intercept. Mm. So, 41k to your Vanguard. So, he wasn't able to intercept the last turn? I forgot about that. Oh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Fair point. No, that. Twin drive. First step, draw a trigger. Hold to my Vanguard and then draw. Second check. Nothing. Damage check. Nothing. 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 Oh. All right, all right. Interesting indeed. Uh, by the way, what's all these potatoes doing around here? Because this is like a full sack match. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, there was so many triggers point out. So, but yeah. uh, that was kind of uh, interesting to see. I mean, JJ really held out against the 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 attack <laughs> from Ultimate. Q Koku Jigen Robo, right? Q Koku Jigen Robo. Q Koku Jigen Robo. Uh, great Nagusha's <laughs> Yeah, from great, yeah. Uh, from great Daiyusha's ability, so that's what really killed most of your hand size, right? Did yeah, you? it did, actually. Uh, uh, mostly because I couldn't have any, I didn't actually have any other way to increase my power above a certain limit. Mm -hmm. So I was actually very limited to how much I could do. Um, it would have helped if I actually gotten more Blaster Blades. Uh, Blaster Darts, actually. <laughs> because, <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, because Blaster Dark allows me to force me to retire an additional rear guard every time I call. Mm -hmm. So if I call the Blaster Dark instead of a uh, Blaster... Yeah. Blaster, Blaster <laughs> X, for example, uh -huh. I will at least wipe out at least another guard. More of his regards, so maybe yeah. can even target, or oh, rather he has to choose, but he at least choose. the more yeah, he chooses, the he more to, options he has, he has less and he has to like In this case, he will have to decide whether he wants to prevent me from intercepting, or he wants to give this. Keep this around for even power. Uh, yeah. Alternative, he could also have attacked here, although they wouldn't have made much difference, mm. but alternative, he can also attack, uh, put, uh, not call, not use the force marker and get it, but uh, having the force marker and not having the force marker would not have made that much of a difference. What would have been funny is that if we have a core blaster javelin, uh, uh, blaster axe here, then this I will just push. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a 15k just smack against that. So 5k. Oh, yeah. well, I mean, I still don't have it in me to give a hoot <laughs> at <laughs> this moment. So uh, yeah. But also. overall, I do like honestly stepping into um, the era now uh, for the first time. It's I really I really enjoy what's happening here. It brings everything down back to the basics. It's very simple. Um, Granted, I'm not too happy about the, the, the big power there, but um, <laughs> yeah, for power. what this product is doing, it's actually doing a lot in terms of uh, holding its own. Mm -hmm. And they already have things like uh, PG and a lot of control mechanics inside the deck that help them to keep up with any, any other deck out there that's already been boosted. Mm -hmm. So I really look forward to seeing what happens when Blast Phantom Blaster Dragon gets added in. Uh, yeah, that would yes. be for, for a different day. Yeah, you know, so. really but 
uh, Ren, what are your thoughts on the trial deck for the Shadow Paladin? It's nice that you're able to keep up against your, your deck. Yeah, for, for a trial deck against Dimension Police and this fully built deck, it actually kind of is all very well, but I, I would like to see more about uh, Shadow Paladin when the booster from the AL, AL4 set releases. Mm, uh, I want to see it in its true potential. Mm, I do want to see it as well, along with uh, any sort of recovery for their resources. Also. Yeah. The good thing about tra training with trial decks is that you're able to uh, train to learn to control your resources also because mm. you really can't go willy nilly uh, with your resources, especially if you're playing just a plain old trial deck. Also. Yes. So that's something that you probably could take away from playing the trial deck more than the moves itself. So, mm. uh, but yeah, that's pretty much the match for you. I hope you guys enjoy what you see here, and I hope that you guys are enjoying the Shadow Paladin trial deck uh, as it is right now. We certainly are enjoying the match as you saw. Uh, then, if you want to see more matches from us, you want to see more of the other clans as we try and get them, put them together, and get them here in this room or or any other place for that matter, do subscribe to us here at CBGS, ring the bell so you can get notified when those videos come out, uh, whenever we are able to uh, get them done and out for you guys. At the same time, also follow us on all of our socials, we're on Facebook, we're on Twitter, uh, we have a blog, uh, crossbreakers.com, where you can see uh, Rem's deck profile for his uh, Dayusha deck. Uh, so you can see how he builds it, kind of get, uh, you know, just how he's thought process is from there. Uh, join us on Discord as well, so you can find myself, you can find Ram, you can also find JJ there, we're there on most nights. And uh, last but not least, if you like what you see here and want to support the show directly, do consider supporting us over on Patreon. Links are in the description box below. With all that said, thank you guys again for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! I messed up the recital wrong, you know, I'm not a true Dayusha Weaver!